Yo, what's up everybody? How's it going today? So I decided to start implementing a crypto screener that's tailored specifically to my trading style, which is shorting at high RSI and resistances, looking for price action, targeting with Fibonacci. So a lot of different requirements are going to be implemented. And I wanted to share with you guys the very first trade that I decided to take. And it helped me nail a trade for about a 2.5% profit on a $100,000 position for a $2,500 profit. And it was all because of this crypto screener. So the crypto screener is designed just for me. And keep in mind that even though people may have access to the same set of data, it comes down ultimately to the person interpreting the data that can make the best use of it, right? So it's designed specifically for advanced traders. And then once you find the trader, it also comes down to the person doing the technical analysis to decide if they want to enter a trade and to evaluate the risk as well. So I think that I'm taking my trading to a whole new level now, and I really wanted to share it with people. And because of this reason, I'm very excited to help out people learn how to use this software so they can maybe tailor it to them, their own trading style as well, right? And for this reason, I decided to open up the monthly Discord group of mine, okay? So make sure that if you would like to join it due to the amount of scammers, just make sure that you go to Twitter. My Twitter handle is Philicone Crypto and just give me a DM. Watch out for people replying to you in this in this YouTube video and specifically on Discord or sorry, on Twitter as well. So make sure you guys are DMing me privately on YouTube or sorry, <laughs> make sure you're DMing me privately on Twitter. This way you can prevent a lot of scammers. So I really look forward to having a lot of people join my group so I can help you guys progress in your trading journey. So see you guys there. Bye. And I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Take care. All right. So part of this crypto screener is actually being able to have a fucking really good eye. Okay. So I noticed here right now that that the five minute RSI is not that high on CRV, but the 15 minutes getting high. The 30 minutes already very high, which means it's been fluctuating in the high state already. So this means that the five minute, because all of these greens, the orange is turning to green and they're slowly parabolically going to the upside. The volume's also gaining, that it must have spiked up right now. Without even looking at the chart, I know that this shit spiked up, right? So you can see it go up here a lot. You can see this guy just make a 13% run since yesterday, huge. So now it's good to identify where these resistances are to see if we can actually get a possible short opportunity. And we see that in the September, right? We see a massive, massive short right here. Okay, we see a massive short opportunity where it's gonna reach the September high. And this possibly channeled. If this possibly channeled, that's gonna hit exactly around that peak there. So right now, my picks are basically this. If you guys don't know what this symbol means, you should probably learn it. I'm not doing any risk to reward. This is just a signal like a, to symbolize me shorting. Okay, me shorting. So I'm looking for a short somewhere around there. That's my entry. I summarized it already because of the resistance here. CRV, I'm looking for a short because of a resistance here. EGLD, I'm looking for resistance because of there and there. So I'm looking to short it, right? These things here, it signals a short for me. CRV there as well. I'm looking for a short. So I'm just going to add in the signal here or the, the symbol rather, just to know that I'm shorting. So I can look back at this chart and be like, yep, I'm looking for a short here, you know, around there. Yep, I'm looking for a short around there. Yep, I'm looking for a short around there. Yep, I'm looking for a short, especially Z, Z. Okay, this guy here is really interesting to me. I really want to short this guy soon. Theta, I'm looking for one more rally to the upside to short it, if it even gets up there, right? FTM, I'm looking for a breakout long actually, okay? Because it looks like an ascending type of triangle. Target, I don't know yet. Okay, but it looks like it really wants to break to the upside long to make a higher high. That's kind of interesting, actually. So FTM is actually, <laughs> it's almost making a higher high, guys. That's really, really interesting here. So FTM is one of these ultra rare coins where it's doing something magical right now, okay? Now, I don't know if it's going to, right? It might even just do something like that. Okay, we don't know. So I'm gonna keep my eye on this guy really, really heavily right now. It, it could very well be just something like this, okay? Where it ends up shorting right now and doesn't even get to a higher high, okay? And then Zill as well, I'm looking for a short if it gets to this trend line up there. 
which ends up meeting over here. And all of these signals, or the ones that I'm looking at, they were all brought to my attention without even scanning the market. All I had to do was just look at the crypto screener. Fuck yeah. All right, guys, so Sol is, now that we, the scanner is just there to give us an indication of basically what is going to be brought to our attention, okay? So now that it's been brought to our attention, we actually, we actually have to take a look at Sol and see what's going on. So first of all, acknowledge this resistance from September the 8th, September the 9th, which reached the peak of about, about 216.35, okay? 216.35 was the peak. Are we going to smash through it? Probably not. Are we likely to retrace a few percentages? Yeah, very, very likely to retrace maybe 4 or 5%, right? It's really possible. So I have my resistance set up there. So we know that this is going to be a horizontal resistance, okay? So 216.35, whatever, right, right around there, 216.39. Right, right around here. Okay, when I zoom in, it'll be easier to manage and put it in here. So that's the, that's the highest it's most likely going to get by a wick or two, percent or two. Okay, then the next thing that we do is we draw a, a, a resistance like this. Okay, see this resistance? This is pretty damn good the way that's looking. And it looks like it's being sandwiched into this particular region. So based off of price action, it's looking like it wants to get right into there. <laughs> so I'm really interested in the short position right now, right? RSI is not going to tell too much right now because we're hit, inching towards a resistance, right? It's not going to like just slow down. Everything is really parabolically going up, but that's from the previous ones already. That's how it's been looking. So we see that on Sol here, it's, um, you know, this is set to refresh every, I'm going to go refresh every second or five seconds here, right? So the volume is actually decreasing very, very steadily here. So it was at 0.57 earlier, right? Steadily decreasing. And let's see what's going to keep happening here. So it's definitely steadily decreasing. So we ended up finding this here on Sol because because of the crypto scanner, which brought us to this attention with the set of data that it was giving us. All right, so it's starting to hit it with flying colors right here. Doesn't look like it's going to actually go to the 216, 17 ranges. I'm in a short position right here for a lot. All right, so I'm in a position right now for $105,000, doing really well. So the point of this, this screener of mine, right? Like it doesn't matter. Honestly, it doesn't matter. I'm going to tell you guys what it is. It's called Crypto Loom. It doesn't matter if you guys use it or anything like that or if other people use it, if you, anybody has the, the set of data or the information. What matters the most is how to interpret the data. And this is a very, very advanced website, right, for advanced professionals trading. So you need a lot of experience under your belt to even interpret the information. If you look at it, it's just going to look like a bunch of shit to everybody, in my opinion, right? So I really, really highly urge people to keep focusing on technical skills or technical analysis. Then eventually over time, you're gonna develop like a skill set of criteria to look for after you have developed a really consistent trading style, right? So my trading style is basically looking for oversold and overbought regions. And I spent a lot of time scanning the market, right? So, so now that I have found something that's gonna help me simplify, um, the scanning process, this is how I'm able to capitalize on it now. So I'm up like $1,500, up about 1.5% of a really, really nice scalp here, okay guys? I'm not gonna take my profit on here anytime soon because we're getting out on, on the one hour. Look how nice that doji is already, okay? If you guys are seeing it, we're starting to probably see bearishly diverging RSI soon. 45 minute peak to the upside, but I think we're really gonna start to come to the downside here. Okay, you're looking at it from the data set here. Before we saw everything right, we saw everything going up, 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 right? Now the the five minute chart percentage is actually dropping over the past five minutes. The volume is slowly diminishing as well. The 15 minute is actually dropping in percentage. The 30 minute is actually dropping as well, right? The volume is slowly, slowly starting to diminish. The high time frames are size still really high, right? But the 15 minute ones, whoops, the 15 minute one is actually dropping. The five minute actually started to reset as well. So overall, this is now turning into a very profitable trade here. Um, everything started to drop to the downside. So I might actually just take my profit very, 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 very soon. So we see it dropping even further now. I'm in a $100,000 position for a $1,500 profit, which is a 
Um, well, sorry, I mean the $105,000 position. It's a 1.5% scalp profit here that my, my indicate not my indicators, but the parameters that I set for my trading style, it, it, all these numbers added up and aligned to basically sell, right? So to be quite honest, people are like, oh, well, what are you using? I don't give a fuck if I tell you guys what I'm using. I'm using Crypto Loom. But if you're not an experienced trader in the market and you haven't been trading for a long time, you're not going to be successful in any way with this market scanner because it's all about interpreting the actual data and doing something with it to see how they all line up, right? So I'm up at $1,200, doing okay with it. I was expecting a bigger drop right now, so we'll see how this is going to end up playing out, right? So we take a look at the volume here. It's steadily dropping to the downside. I take a look at Crypto Loom, and I'm just going to see updating this here. The volume is still steadily going to the upside, but it's now starting to become sell volume, in my opinion. Right, so the volume here, it's actually starting to slowly, slowly, slowly move to the downside. Let's see if we're gonna get some capitulation and move to the downside here, okay? All right, guys, so we've dropped a really good amount already. I'm up like $1,700. I don't wanna spike the market and just be like, boof, you don't take my profit right now. So I'm actually gonna just start limiting my orders right here. I'm gonna set my limit order here for oh, one, right? One right there. Oh, wow, it actually dropped even more, 8.9. I'm gonna go right here and see if I can get a close. And let's see, guys. Fuck it, market executing this right here for $2,000. Oh shit, I need to log in. And there you go, guys. Sorry, I had to take the profit on my phone so I couldn't record it. So I took in right there a 207 on my phone. It shows a $2,500 profit. That's fucking insane that I, I only had $20,000 in this small account. And I grew from $2,000 today to $2,500. Uh, so I grew by actually 10% today. <laughs> Boom! My fucking crypto scanner, guys. I'm telling you, man, even if you had this set of data, it's called Crypto Loom. It doesn't matter because it's me. It's me, Philicon Crypto, interpreting it that can do this. Boom!